this video I'm taking another reclaimed jacket and we're painting Winnie the Pooh on it. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by taking a uh, piece of plywood and uh, wrapping my jacket around. Uh, this way it stretches out and I'm able to paint it easily. I really want my colors to stand out so I'm doing a white base. Using my vinyl machine I went ahead and cut out uh, the shape of Winnie the Pooh. If you don't have a vinyl machine you can always use masking tape. Mask off the area. Put a whole bunch of layers of masking tape, draw your character, and then simply using an X-Acto knife uh, or a blade, you can just cut around it and remove the uh, negative and just leave the, uh, the shape that you want on there. I'm going to start working on the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer down a uh, basic royal blue, and then I'm going to follow it up with a darker shade of blue then a purple, then a black, and of course make sure that you dry in between each color. And here's a fun fact, uh, we are literally 10 minutes away from Disneyland, but we cannot go because it's closed due to, to the quarantine. So uh, just like everybody else, we just gotta wait and uh, until they reopen so we can go back there and have some fun. In the meantime, let's finish this jacket. I want to add some stars in the background so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this old toothbrush, put a whole bunch of white paint on it and just flicker that brush and it'll spat, splatter a couple of dots onto the, uh, the black area giving me that star effect. If you ever do this effect just make sure you got something on the bottom on the floor this way you don't have white paint all over your, your floor and uh, either that or you can lay down the jacket. Um, horizontal on a, on a table and then just simply splatter the paint that way as well. I wanted to give it a more realistic effect so I took the airbrush using a little bit of white and just going back in there and applying a little bit of flare onto those, um, those stars. And I'm going to be using this uh, piece of cardboard. It's, this is an old airbrush trick. Uh, you simply just put it uh, vertical and then spray up and down. You'll get a little line flare. And then you'll do that the other way around, uh, horizontal like this, and uh, it'll look like a big star. Let's add a flare in the center, followed by a kind of like a donut, if you will, like a ring around the star. And then we'll put about two or three dots uh, diagonally and uh, it'll give us a nice little uh, flare. I'm going to start with the lime green and just color the background. Um, and then I'm going to go back in there with a darker shade of green. Just keep going darker and darker. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it'll give it a little bit of a... Uh, of shape uh, and then you can you can add black if you want just depending on what what you're more comfortable with so so at this point I'm just filling in all the blanks so anything that needs to be colored I'm coloring everything in and then I'm gonna go back uh, with a black and re-outline um, all those lines so it'll they'll really stand out So I'm slowly removing each layer of color that I want. So right now I want to paint the yellow. So I'm removing all those areas that have yellow into it and I'm leaving everything else in the stencil. So then I can go back later on and fill those areas in with a different color. So I wasn't sure what color to paint the jar, the honey jar. Uh, I've seen it done in uh, silver and brown, blue and purple. So I just, I just couldn't decide. Um, so I just went ahead and ended it with purple, but let me know what color you guys would have chosen or do you remember it being a different color? Um, let me know in the comment below. Now I took the jacket off the easel and just laid it on a, on a table. Uh, it's a little bit easier for me to uh, draw and paint uh, lines that way for me. So I'm uh, just taking my time, just going back and forth uh, with the black and uh, re-outlining uh, the character there with, the, with black. And now the last step is to remove all the tape and uh, it turned out really well. I think it came out pretty nice. 
The only issue that I had was there was a little bit of extra white showing through there on the bottom. So what I did is I took a little bit of black and just filled that in and cleaned it up. But overall, I think it came out really nice. What do you guys think? Do uh, you like this or would you rather see another design? Or would you change anything else? I don't know. Let me know. And just to let you guys know, this particular jacket is on sale. So check out the link in the description below and it'll take you right to the listing where you can purchase this particular jacket for yourself.